throttle close, hand on throttle, engine start. What's going on? I'm Cal and I want to fly. I'm an aerospace engineer. I live in South Australia. I love surfing, dancing, going to the gym, mainly chatting at the gym, diving, astrophotography, running, and above all, making delicious fruit smoothies. So why do I want to learn how to fly? I think a good place to start is to talk about my fascination of flight and where that came from. When I was a kid, I was actually scared of flying just because I didn't understand it. I think that sparked me to find out how planes could fly. One thing led to another and I became an aerospace engineer. An aerospace engineer designs aircraft and spacecraft, but you don't learn how to fly them. And for me, I've always wanted to fly them. I think five or six years ago, I really was serious about one day I'm gonna be a pilot. Not as a job, just recreationally. I think my end goal is to be able to fly whenever I want, to take friends and family up in the sky. I wrote something down here. I guess to see the world from up high. This video's gone on for ages, by the way. As an aerospace engineer, I'm lucky enough to have met a lot of pilots along the way. So, I spent the last few weeks calling uh, most of the pilots that I knew. These pilots range from general aviation pilots who do this for fun, to commercial airliner pilots, to experimental test pilots. Basically all the pilots that exist. No helicopter pilots though, I will say. I actually don't know a helicopter pilot. I spoke to just over 10 different pilots who all gave me their stories, explained to me how they got into flying, where they started, where they did their training, how long it took them, what aircrafts they started out on, and how much they loved it. That was common, all of them loved it. My ears are warm. My ears are so warm. Oh no. Water on the shirt. Anyway. From all those conversations I had, there were three key takeaways. One, uh, try it first. Every one of them said aviation is not for everyone. Now, what they recommended is what's called a trial instructional flight or a TIFF. And most flight schools offer this. This is basically a way for you to quickly get in and, and get a feel for what it's like to fly a plane. Takeaway number two, you find a flight school that really wants to teach you. Understood what you wanted to get out of flying because then they'll be invested in your learning and your pathway to becoming a pilot. And the third and final piece of advice that they gave was they recommended to learn in a light aircraft. The reason being is the lighter the aircraft, the more exaggerated the characteristics of flight are. And by that I mean that you'll feel all of the effects of your controls, external factors like wind, temperature, all of those things that affect flight. I have no idea how these videos are gonna to come together. Never done this before, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Loosen up. <laughs> what I want the purpose of this channel to be, is I want it to be a place where I can share with people the beauty of flying, or the ways in which you can become a pilot. I think it'd be so cool if more everyday people could fly planes. It'd be so fun, it would be so fun. Like my dream is to have a crew of people who can go out and fly and just, just have the best time. So I can't wait to get flying. This is the start of a journey that uh, potentially could be a long one, uh, but it's gonna be a fun one. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't stop smiling at the best of times. Even after week one, I, I can't stop talking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, I need to stop talking. I'm Cal. Welcome to week one of Learning to Fly. Um, I've booked in a, um, a TIFF, which is a, a trial instructional flight uh, tomorrow. So um, hopefully the weather holds up and we can get up in the air. First potential day of flying. Um, Cessna 172, I believe, is, is what we'd be in. So um, going to go shower up, get some brekkie in us. What are we going to have? That's a trick question, we're obviously gonna have oats. Let's get the day going. Let's check this weather. Doesn't look like there's any wind down about, so good signs. Okay, so we got to roll in the most important ingredient and that's maple syrup. This apple is definitely well past its best days. dry this is probably too dry though. Maple syrup, cinnamon, apples are the best. The tie's over for the morning uh, and then we're gonna go quickly get a haircut, hopefully quickly. Oh look at this steam, oat steam. And then grocery shopping. Let's go. 
Heck out time. Let's hope there's no weight. Alright, there was a bit of a wait. A few flight schools called me in there actually, so I'm gonna give them a call back when I get home. Uh, first off, go grocery shopping. Excited. Sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. 11.15, 29 minutes, pure perfection. But I've definitely missed a few things. Got rice cakes though, it's all that matters. We've arrived at the airport. Uh, flights in in 30 minutes. I think this trial instructional flight is is just a way to introduce you to um, to aviation. It's a 45 minute flight, slightly cheaper than the hour. I'm so excited. This weekend is going to be great. You'll see here. We've got uh, that's a Baron there. All looking pretty good. Flight one done. We have a certificate. Certificate, it's pretty official. As soon as we took off, there were some pelicans, like large birds, extremely large birds. And I was like, don't tell me the first takeoff, we're gonna have a, a significant bird strike. And not just any bird, bird strike, but a pelican strike. If on my first flight, we had a pelican strike, that would, <laughs> I don't know if I'd come back. No, uh, absolutely I would. It was fantastic. I loved it. There's so much to digest. There's the, the throttle, the fuel mixture, the, the RPMs, the oil temperature, pressure, all that stuff is just for the, the engine. And then you have the attitude of the aircraft, the pitch, roll, yaw, and you're looking out for other aircraft. You're listening to the frequency to make sure that uh, you're aware of traffic. And there's so much going on, like I said. So uh, it gave me an even greater appreciation for pilots because they have to manage a lot of information and, and a lot of things at, at one time. Tomorrow is going to be exciting. It's going to be different because it's a completely different airfield and a very different aircraft as well. So this might be a little bit more bumpy because it's a much lighter aircraft. Really fun. Day one done. Let's keep it going. I can definitely see how people are addicted to this. Yeah, being up there was fantastic. You look at everyone drive. The first thing I, I did was looking at all the cars. I was thinking those people are just, they don't understand. They're on the ground right now. This is so much better up here. Why don't we all come up here? That's what I was thinking. That's my justification for, for probably driving uh, as far as I'm going to tomorrow and doing this every week. But I think that that's the, the way to go about it. I think, I think because it is expensive and, and it takes a lot of time that I can understand uh, doing it you know, every, every month or two to learn as effectively as I can. I want to do this every week, once or twice a week. And, um, and I want to find an instructor that really is invested in, in, in helping me in that path to becoming a really safe pilot. Successful first flight. Let's keep it going. I'll see you tomorrow. Fly day.
Once again, nice and crisp out. So, weather check. Birds up on the power pole there. They're flying, so it's obviously good. So, the journey begins. Map says that we have one hour to get there. Not a big fan of strawberry flavor. Not a huge fan, but strawberry jam's great, but strawberry flavor things, yeah. Yeah, still, still quite cloudy, but uh, oh, we're just passing interest. Another airfield, so there's there's a few little airfields around here. It says we're two minutes away, so the next you'll see, I'll probably be in that aircraft. So, um, so excited. Throttle closed, hand on throttle, engine start. Okay, so as soon as it starts, one of the first things I want to see is that it's got oil pressure to the engine. So this is your... Uh, Just going to get a bit louder. Yell at me. Okay, sure thing. Oil pressure's in the green. Murray Bridge traffic, Chaparro 5246. Taxi to Hull Point Bravo, traffic Murray Bridge. Someone also just said they're taxiing to Bravo for wheel first. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how you can start to see the prop. Yeah. Just going to come up and stabilise the idle a little bit. Ah, oh, so that's a good indication to look at the propeller. You can see it, yeah. yeah. 1849 on 5246 radio check. 5246 radio You always take off and land into the wind. You got your feet on the pedals? Yep. Look at the end of the runway. See if you can keep it straight, it's beautiful. Traffic, camera route 5246 is lining up and rolling 1923 bridge. Here we go. Here we go. Full power, follow you. Right rudder. Airspeed 60. Wheels have lifted off. Climbing out at 70. We raise the flaps. So there's two controls for the flaps, is there? Yeah. Might be A1 for me. Got a fairly smooth day. Turning crosswind. All the circuits here are all left. There's no right hand circuits at all. Okay. I've been coming in a lot of right rudder if you follow me on the pedals. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Murray Bridge traffic, camera route 5246 is turning downwind. 19 and really Murray Bridge. So, to keep it straight, you need a, a visual reference of as to where you're heading. And just follow me on the, on the power. We go full power for a climb. Climb attitude is, is just having the horizon in the bottom corners of the windscreen. It depends on how tall you are, of course, but it's about there somewhere. Wave to the camera. <laughs> We've got nice cold, dense air today, and we're going up about 800 feet a minute, so it's climbing really nicely. Your aircraft. Um, by having a nice open hand on the on the stick and, and relax a little bit, I know it's hard to relax when you when, yeah. you, when you're new. Fantastic. You get, you get, get a nice day for it, actually. Yeah, you're very lucky. So we're at 2,000 feet now. You've gained it back. Yeah. Would you like to try it, Tad? Sounds good. What we'll do is, a, is about a 180 degree turn. We'll go right with the first turn. So clear right, make sure there's no one on the horizon. Okay, looks clear. Yep, round to the right. So leave with the foot, a little bit of right rudder. Nice turn, just keep it going. May find you need a little tiny bit of back stick. Definitely feels different to flying a Cessna, definitely. Yeah, they're, they're very light. They feel everything. So you get used to doing some gentle turns, it's just follow the, the shape of the river for me. Okay, uh, clear left. Yep. Knee with the foot. Yeah, a little bit of nose up. And rolling out, right rudder. Right stick. Yeah, so the common traffic advisory frequency, anybody within 10 nautical miles should be on that, on that frequency. Okay. Um, Right clear. Yep. Leave it foot.
dropped a little bit of altitude here. All right, well, let's straight ahead. Just put me into a climb, see whether we can get 3,000 feet or whether it's too high, just climb straight ahead. Right power, right runner. Yep, definitely right runner. A little bit more right runner. Thank you. Bring your trim back a bit. Uh, 3,000. Attitude, yeah, nose down. Yeah, speed come up. Air speed's coming up. Bring your power back, 28. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, follow the river. Alright, turning left, the horizon's clear. Yep. Following out. Let's just practice descending straight ahead to 2,500. Can you feel the opposite effect of it coming around a bit the other way now? Yeah, I can, yeah. 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 Got the same air speed, but look at the road of descent going. Yeah, okay. Going yeah, yeah, yeah. Call them what? Speed bomb. Sorry, Ben. Traffic Cabaret 5246 joining Mitchell Crosswind 19 at Traffic Cabaret. Sorry, Ben. Traffic Cabaret 5246 turning base 19 for a full stop. Traffic Cabaret. Bridge. No, you're pretty spoiled. Yeah. Sometimes here you're work, working pretty hard with a light aeroplane. <laughs> Alright. What an unreal weekend of flying. <laughs> Did I do something? Yeah. I've got my sister here telling me how to film. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> my feet went so high just then. Uh, first weekend under the belt. Started off yesterday with a trial instructional flight in a Cessna 172. Uh, that was so fun. That was closer to the city. Uh, then today went about an hour and a half away and was flying in a light sport aircraft, a Jabiru 160. And it was just unbelievable. I had an amazing time today. I thought yesterday was, was as fun as it could get being the first time and uh, today just topped it. So, so excited. Um, definitely the difference between the light sport aircraft and the slightly heavier class in Cessna. When I had my hands on the controls and I was providing those inputs, I could feel the aircraft responding a lot more than I could in the Cessna. I'm, I'm an inexperienced pilot, so that'll change with time, but that was my first, uh, my first comparison between the two. It was good flying one the day after the other so I could have them back to back and, and really compare how they both felt. And the lighter aircraft, you could feel every bump, uh, you could feel every bit of crosswind. A really good learning experience for me this morning. So looking forward to continuing down uh, the light sport aircraft path for the next, the next little portion. So that was suggested to me by a number of friends who are pilots. Uh, so that, they say it's a really great way to get started. You get the feel for flying. It's also a little bit less in terms of cost as well. It looks like it's going to be more, a more affordable pathway to getting a pilot's license here in Australia for sure. Fantastic weekend, cannot, cannot wait for next weekend and yeah, I'm just ecstatic, you can probably tell. I'm going to sleep really well tonight because uh, yeah, it's been a big weekend of flying. Whilst I'm waiting to, to get back in the air next week, I've, I also today picked up this student pilot kit. A couple of textbooks about um, basic aeronautical knowledge, uh, radio as well, um, I think a flight training manual and also logbook as well. So um, I'll get familiar with this this week. We'll see you in the air next week. I think that's good. Is that going to be our catchphrase? See you in the air? It's kind of cringe, but that's what we're going to stick with for now. See you in the air.